You take a look at this video. It's one of two Boeing made KC 46 Pegasus tankers making the trip from Everett, Washington to McConnell Air Force Base in Wichita, Kansas. As we speak, as the Air Force officially takes delivery. This is a program valued at $44 billion, according to GAO estimates. And after delays and some $3.5 billion in extra costs for Boeing, this moment has been a long time coming. I spoke with the CEO and president of Boeing's defense, space, and secretary business, Leanne Corrette, ahead of this milestone flight last night. Well, as you all know, this is a multi-mission aircraft, so it is more than just uh, a tanker. It has the capability to avoid, to detect, uh, to deter, and it also provides carrying capability not only for cargo but for passengers and patients. Uh, this is an amazing game-changing capability and we are so delighted. Now there's been some stipulations attached to the delivery of these aircraft, some te technical difficulties that still need to be worked through with the Air Force. Talk us through what those are and what the timeline would be to fix them. This is a partnership with the United States Air Force. We have continued to focus on uh, making certain that they not only have the best technology available today, but that they are positioned for game-changing capability for the future to come. As you know, this aircraft is going to be flying for decades. So do you already have potential international buyers lined up for it? As a matter of fact, we do, and that's publicly available. As you know, Japan is our first international customer, and we're having conversations uh, with other countries as well. Yeah, and the Defense Department is funded through the end of September right now, but this partial government shutdown is affecting other agencies like the FAA, like NASA. How is that impacting Boeing? How is that impacting your business? Well, um, to your point, with the current government shutdown, or the partial government shutdown, uh, we have continued to provide um, information over to make certain that folks understand what that means to the business. Uh, we've been uh, fortunate to date that we have not seen uh, many impacts, but to your point, as uh, funding runs out for certain agencies, we will continue to assess that situation and we'll work with those customers appropriately. Now, in terms of KC-46, it's been a watch item for investors. Boeing's taken a series of charges tied to the program. I did ask Corette whether investors should expect to see more of those potentially. She dec declined to comment as the aerospace giant does prepare to report earnings next Wednesday. I did also speak with the U.S. Air Force Secretary Heather Wilson about the tanker program and more. Well, there's always technical issues when you take a new weapon system like this, and actually there are fewer technical issues than there are on most uh, major procurements that we do. But Boeing has a fixed price contract that they, have, uh, that, that they have been working to, and they've agreed with the Air Force to fix the items that we've, uh, that we've found that are problematic. So we're ready to take the next step, which is operational test and evaluation and get these aircraft in the hands of our airmen. Certainly investors have been worried that there's a potential out there that we've sort of hit peak spending in terms of the U.S. defense budget. Are they misinformed to think that? No, the irony here is that uh, as a percentage of our gross domestic product, we are at historic lows for what we are asking our countrymen to do to support our nation's defense. We're at about 3.5 percent or so of our GDP that we spend on defense. And, uh, and I don't think that the security of the country is really, is really too much to ask. How will space fit into that, especially as everybody looks to find out more details about the Space Force? Mm. Well, the Air Force in the fiscal year 19 budget, the president put forward a budget and it was supported by Congress to reprogram about $5 billion in the Air Force space program and add $7 billion more to accelerate defendable space. The Air Force in the United States is the best in the world at space and our adversaries know it. And they have been developing the capability to deny us the use of space in crisis or war. The Air Force has put together programs to uh, make sure that that doesn't happen, and we are executing on those programs. How would you assess the geopolitical landscape right now? I would say that, um, that uh, uh, long, in the immediate term, both Russia and China are threats. Uh, Russia is certainly a threat to its neighbors. I think in the long term, China is innovating and growing faster. Um, than, than Russia is, and I think long term that's the threat we're most concerned about. But in addition to being able to meet those threats, there is the threat of rogue regimes. 
and, uh, and the United States Air Force is vital to, to meeting all of those threats and protecting our vital national interests. Now, guys, that's a view you've heard me talk about before, particularly around China. This is important because when someone like Commerce Secretary Wilbur Ross comes on CNBC and says we're miles and miles from getting a resolution and it shouldn't be too surprising, this is part of what he's referencing, this interconnectedness between trade, development of next generation technology, also national security, not just militarily, but also economically. They're all involved here. And this is such a key part of these structural issues, these structural reforms that uh, we keep debating whether the U.S. and China can make some sort of headway on. All right, Morgan. So bottom line, uh, Boeing stock has been pretty flat overall for the past year. Anything about the delivery of this tanker, the underlying what it says about that company indicate that that's going to change? Well, the stock is up about 2% today. Uh, so certainly I think this news is, is being greeted and that's helping lift those shares uh, ahead of the results that we get from them next week. It's been something of a lightning rod in terms of all the trade headlines and turmoil we've seen over the past year. It also had had a big run in the years ahead of that. Largely, investors are focused on the commercial part of this business, which has been growing gangbusters and just really churning out cash. The defense business, business has been a, a bit slow lower growing, but KC-46 is a big program, and as I mentioned, they've taken quite a number of charges tied to it, so I think investors are very happy to see that it's finally making its way to the Air Force and potentially finally going to start making some money.